Camera Studio. Today we are going to introduce uh, what's the basic equipment needed for a radio station studio. Firstly, let's start from the microphone. This one is the microphone we usually use for the studio and we highly recommend you use the dynamic one like this one because the dynamic type uh, microphone has higher sensibilities. And this one is the microphone one, um, one screen shield. It's uh, made for prevent from speeding into the microphone. And this one is the microphone stand. Uh, we recommend using this, this type of uh, stand because you can stretch it and you can move it very freely. Okay. And this one uh, is the headphone. We usually use this one to monitor the sound output of the whole studio system. Okay. Now, uh, we can see there are two speakers on this desk. There are uh, monitor speakers. It's also for monitoring the whole studio um, sound output. After the speakers, now we are looking at the mixer and the audio processor here. Uh, let's have a look at the mixer. The audio mixer is mainly used for uh, integrate, multiply um, line inputs, sound inputs. Uh, for example, the line in and the head, sorry, microphone inputs and uh, the telephone, telephone calls. Then, after uh, integrating all the sound inputs, the mixer will output from one channel to the audio processor and then the processor will uh, improve the sound quality by digital processing and then output to the FM transmitter or the sound amplifier. Okay, now uh, I'm going to show you how to connect the equipment together through the cables. Firstly, we need to connect the line in. Today we're going to use the phone and we're going to play music from the phone. This cable is to connect from the cell phone to the mixer. This one is for cell phone and this one is for the mixer. Here we are looking at two cables because uh, the input is the stereo sound. It has L and R. All right, after connecting the line in, we're going to connect the microphone into the mixer. So uh, we're getting the, the cable for the microphone and we're going to connect this cable to either of these four channels because they are all for the microphone inputs. Now we're, we are using this one. This one is the balanced cable XLR male connector. Okay. Done. After that, we will connect the headphone to the mixer through this cable this connector. Um, in, on this mixer we will see an interface with the printing of phone. This is the interface we are going to connect to the headphone. After the headphone we are going to uh, connect the speaker with the mixer as well. As we can see there are two speakers here one is the main speaker, this one, and this one is the side speaker. Firstly, we need to connect these two speakers together through this cable. As we see, this cable is uh, split into two smaller cables on both ends and with the color of black and red. So, we just need to connect these cables to the speaker by corresponding colors into the holes. 
then uh, we tighten the screws. Make sure it's tight. Okay, this end is for the male speaker. It's the same operation. Okay, after we connected these two speakers together, we are going to connect the main speaker to the mixer through this cable. These two are the RCA ports. As we see, the output of the speaker is also RCA. So we are going to insert these RCA ports onto the speaker. Then, this end is to connect the mixer through the control room interfaces. Okay, that's done. Okay, after we connected all inputs to the mixer, now we are going to connect the mixer to the auto processor through this cable, these two cables. Since we are inputting the stereo sound, so we are going to use two cables, one for left and one for right. Okay, this one is the output of the mixer. We are going to use this end for the mixer. This end is for the auto processor. Okay, finally, after the sound has been processed, we need to output the sound from the auto processor to transmitter through these two cables. Um, as we said, the sound is stereo, so we need to use two, we need to use two cables to output the sound. These two are for the audio processor, and these two are for the transmitter. Hello guys, thank you for watching our video and thank you for your support to Adam user all around these years. We will keep trying our best to supply quality products and services to you, so please keep supporting us and keep tuned to our new videos. See you next time. If you enjoy our video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe our channel. See you next time. Bye!